Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to live stream your video conference from GoToMeeting or WebEx and that allows you to reach much larger audiences and exceed the comp meeting capacities that can be really expensive in GoToMeeting and WebEx. So all that and more coming up next, let's go ahead and take a look at my screenshot here. So here you can see that I'm actually bringing in the video uh, from my video production software. I'm going to use vMix, but Wirecast is another good option for this. And then you want to pick call using computer. And this is where we can check, choose our microphone. And what we want to do is we want to take the microphone audio from the video conference. So that for me is going to be, my microphone is going to be line one. And I'm going to show all of this in a presentation right now. So first of all, how do we live stream to GoToMeeting and to uh, with WebEx to Facebook and YouTube Live and why would we do that? Well first of all we maximize our exposure on social media platforms like YouTube and Facebook which is a great way to not only get more people to watch your marketing and webinars it also records them there for you and it's really good for SEO. Second, we will uh, exceed the maximum video participants in our video conferencing software with live streaming software. So we don't need to worry about the meeting capacities in GoToMeeting and WebEx because now we can have thousands of people watching and we don't need to pay for the expensive webinar options using the simple trick. Um, so that's really great. Also, we can engage large audiences. The only caveat here is if you do have thousands of people or hundreds of people watching your live stream on Facebook and YouTube, you probably want to pay attention to the chat room. And to do that, what I like to do is I like to have just a little iPad here um, to, sh to just take a look at the chat room. So if you can have a little iPad in front of you looking at the Facebook or the YouTube chat room, just so that if you've got your video conferencing participants from around the world that are having a conversation, but keep an eye on the chat room too. Okay, super easy. Last thing, it's super easy for your audience, for your large audience. They don't need to download GoToMeeting or WebEx or download anything at all. They just go right to YouTube or Facebook. I, YouTube's even a little better than Facebook because Facebook, you do need a Facebook login, but it's really a powerful, cool um, system. So to do this, if you, by doing this, you're going to boost your total views, your audience retention, and you're going to get repeat attendance because people are going to find out that they don't need to download anything to attend your webinar. They can just watch as a participant, and we found that really grows the audience retention. In fact, uh, you can see here I'm actually blocking this slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it up a little bit here like this. But our, after doing over 100 webinars using GoToWebinar, we found that by live streaming the webinar, we get more views on YouTube than we do on our closed circuit, closed meeting with GoToMeeting, which is great for what it is. But um, YouTube ends up getting us more views. So by combi combining the two experiences, for those people who want to have the Q&A built into a GoToWebinar, and then for those people who want to do it all on a live streaming platform, I think organically, you're going to get a much larger audience and especially talk to your market marketing, social media people, I'm sure they'll say the same. So next is uh, we've got all these results from over 100 webinars. Let's talk about how we're going to do this. So this is going to be very simple. This is our brand new 3XA uh, Huddlecam HD camera. And this camera uh, actually is a it's not only a camera, but it also has microphone. It has two microphone inputs and it has one USB output. So that one USB output is video and audio. So that one USB cable, we're going to plug into our computer. I'm using a Windows computer today for this demonstration. So we also do need a secondary monitor because one monitor is going to have our video conference. The second monitor is going to have our video production software. And I mentioned that either Wirecast or vMix are two great options. If you're using Windows, vMix might be the best option. If you're using a Mac, uh, Wirecast is usually the, the best option. So all we need to do, if we can go back one slide here, is we need to basically share the video and audio from our video production software to GoToMeeting. So GoToMeeting is getting the video and audio from you no problem, but we're taking the video and audio from GoToMeeting from the far end and we're using the video production software to live stream to Google, to Google uh, YouTube Live, to Facebook Live, and we can even do recordings. And one of the cool things is we can also do a bunch of video production if you want to get crazy, but let's keep it simple today. So what we're doing is there is a virtual output on either vMix or Wirecast, a virtual webcam. And it, so you take your video into the video production software 
virtualize it. And when you go to WebEx, as you may have seen in our very first video here, this is the video output. So whatever I'm recording right now, that's what you'll see in here. And we can connect our audio and video. So we also are using what's called a virtual audio cable. The virtual audio cable is something that needs to be installed um, and that allows you to pass audio and video to, um, to uh, GoToMeeting or WebEx to get the audio back and forth because we want to take the audio from our far end audience and bring it into our video production software so we get that piece and then we want to take our audio and send it back to the GoToMeeting or WebEx and then of course live stream to Facebook and YouTube. So we've got a whole um, tutorial on this that goes through it um, in more detail that I'm going to link below. We have a full tutorial uh, guide that you can download. And um, basically you're live streaming a webinar and there are some other ways to do this that are even simpler. If you want to go the hardware route, you can actually take a frame grabber and simply do the same thing. So that's how it works. You can maximize exposure, have a great social media impact, innovate and show that you're you know, ahead of the times and have really great video production, engage large audiences. You can do video marketing. Um, you can really add some excitement. Live streaming is very exciting and that's why a lot of people are doing it. It's free, by the way, but you do need to buy a Wirecaster vMix. So it's not exactly free, but the streaming to the world is free today and that's a really big change. You can remove barriers of entry. So GoToMeeting, WebEx, all of these, there's entries you have to download. A lot of people don't want to download another program onto their computer. The production value. You can learn a lot by looking at some of our videos on how to increase production value, lower thirds, inc incorporating the chat room into the video, and a whole bunch of other things, social media integrations, and you can drive actions. Sure, you can drive actions on a closed circuit, if you will, webinar, but by boosting this out to YouTube and Facebook, great advertising social media platforms, you can really drive a lot of action. Take a look at our free video production courses if this was interesting to you. And that is all. Thank you for watching. And just leave a comment, like this video. If you have any questions, we will answer them. Take care, everybody. Click to watch another exciting HuddleCam HD video. And don't forget to subscribe. HuddleCam HD conference cameras are made for meetings that matter. Tune in Fridays at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts and video conferencing tutorials every week.